What is up, Karatex? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use Salvage Yard Business as part of the Chop Shop DLC works and how much money it pays. So firstly, you have to make your way to the Maze Bank Foreclosures website to purchase the business. There are five locations to choose from, one in Polito Bay, one in Sandy Shores, and three in the city. Now, most of the missions do take place in the city, so you definitely want to buy one of those three. Now the most expensive location is La Puerta, and I bought that location immediately when the DLC released, however that location is pretty terrible due to it having a gang attack there, which doesn't let you enter the property during the gang attack, just very annoying. And on top of that, the vehicle spawns are pretty weird there as well, just avoid that location altogether. So I highly recommend either the Murrieta Heights location or the Strawberry location, which is the one I moved to, and I think it's the best one, honestly. Now, in regards to upgrades, we have the Trade Rates upgrade for 450000 and this will give you a permanent 50% discount on Moore's Mutual Insurance and the LS Customs Vehicle Repairs, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have the Tow Truck, which allows you to do the Tow Truck part of the business. The Rusty Beater one is about half the price, so I definitely go with that one if you want to save some money. Next up we have the Wall Safe, which will increase the safe capacity of the business from 100000 to 250000 which honestly I don't really think it's worth it for that increase, I'd probably save your money and not get that. And lastly we have the Staff Upgrade, which will double the salvage speed of the vehicles you bring in with the tow truck, and that one I do recommend. So there are three parts to this business. We have the tow truck salvage cars, the safe, and of course the vehicle robberies. So the tow truck one is pretty simple. You hop in the truck, select launch tow truck service, drive to a location, hook the car up, bring it back to the salvage yard, and then once it arrives, your staff will start salvaging parts off of it until it disappears. Now, only two salvage cars from the tow truck missions can be in here at the same time, since there's only two lifts. Now, once the car is done being salvaged, which takes about 96 minutes, or 48 minutes if you have the staff upgrade, it will then just disappear. Once gone, you will be given roughly 40 to 60,000 for each one, depending on the car, which honestly isn't too bad for making money. It's kind of like the opposite of the auto shop where the auto shop, the cars appear there and then you have to deliver them. Where in this case, you have to go get the cars and they kind of disappear on their own. Pretty interesting. Next up, we have the safe, which fills up very similarly to other businesses we already own, like the nightclub, etc. Now, every in-game day, which is 48 minutes, the money will go up a little bit. And if you've done the tow truck missions during that time, it will go up even more. But obviously, it's not a crazy amount of money. It's pretty slow, just like the other businesses. And lastly, we have the vehicle robberies. This is where the big money is. So these are essentially mini heists that can be done solo. However, the sad part is that you can only do three a week. So every Thursday when the event week changes, all three will change to different cars with different values. Personally, I think this is a very stupid decision by Rockstar. I think the better thing they could have done was maybe make one of them a weekly thing with a very expensive sort of value instead of all three of them changing weekly. It just doesn't make any sense. But anyways, these robberies have a startup fee of 20000 Then they have a scope out mission where you go to a location and take some pictures. Very simple. Then we have the tasks, which are essentially like heist preps, and usually there's two to three per robbery and an optional one as well. These will be in free mode, represented by the green duffel bag looking icon. Then of course we have the planning work, which are essentially like heist setups, and there always seems to be only two for these with one optional one. Now the optional ones aren't really all that necessary as the finales themselves aren't really all that difficult. Now once you get the required task and planning work done, then you can go ahead and start the vehicle robbery. And honestly, I really like these robberies. I think they're very well made and extremely creative. But anyways, once you finally finish the robbery, you acquire the car and bring it back to the salvage yard, the robbery will be completed. And there are some bonus challenges you can get money from for these robberies, but obviously the main goal is the car. 
So once you have the car in your salvage yard finally, you can then choose to sell it or salvage it. Now, if you choose to sell it, you have to deliver it to the docks. However, if you salvage it, you'll get 20% less money and it will take up one of your lifts where you bring in the tow truck cars during that time. So obviously that's not what you wanna do. The best option is obviously just to sell it. Now these vehicle robberies with setups and everything all the way to the end, they take about 45 to 50 minutes, depending on how quick you are. Um, you can probably even get it done in like 35 minutes once you get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty simple. The only issue is the fact that we can only do three a week, which is, is really dumb. But anyways, according to Tez on Twitter, Rockstar will be allowing us to buy some of these stolen vehicles for ourselves later on when more vehicle robberies release. But we're going to have to wait and see when that releases to see how it exactly works. Also on the drip feed, we do have the name of the other two robberies that we're going to be able to do in the coming months which are the Podium Robbery and the McTony Robbery. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That's how the new salvage yard business works and how to earn money from it. While I do like the concept of this business, I just don't agree with only allowing us to do three vehicle robberies a week. That's just the most ridiculous cooldown I've ever heard of in my entire life. Just completely unnecessary. And in my opinion, it makes this business a lot less worth investing into money-wise because Rockstar is restricting you from grinding these robberies for larger payouts. Again, money-wise, overall, this business is a gimmick. Personally, I think the auto shop is still a better overall business for the money and the contracts that don't have a ridiculous one-week cooldown. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.